I, um, brought lunch. You are worried about something, my son. Speak. Uh, just... How are you feeling? Never better. O'clock talk is good for my mind. Sure. Memory, strategy... More than that, it hears my thoughts. It connects me to my ancestors as I navigate the labyrinth of the board. Centering me, easing my mind. It's good. It's good, and it's, um, it's helping. It's been 12 hours and 46 minutes since you asked. Do you fear my condition has worsened in this time? No. It's just that we did bring in a Kalanorian who had a psychic breakdown at a bar. I thought I felt something. It was you? You know I have been doing the Ta'ar Karik to keep my memories from fleeing. You should have told me there were Kalanorians here. Uh, I'm sorry, Father. I... In any event, I will be more careful. Now come. Play a match with me. I never tire of beating you. I gotta get back to work. Why don't you bring the game to the DEO and we can play later? As soon as I finish my game against Zook, He was right here. Where is he? Dad. A joke. Not funny, Dad. Only because you did not see your face. Have you thought about what I told you? I get squeamish whenever Ruby asks me to kill a spider. How could you possibly think I could kill people? I don't think you could. So you think I have a split personality? Essentially, yes. Rain is a completely separate entity. When she takes over, you lose all awareness, all control. Your DNA rewrites itself. Please, Sam, understand that I would not tell you this if I wasn't sure. So this is what I get for asking for your help. What's that supposed to mean? You ask an oncologist, they'll see cancer. You ask a surgeon, they'll cut you open. You ask a Luther, they'll tell you you're a super villain. What? Just tell him I'll call him back, okay? He's where? James, I really wish you'd called first. Yeah, I tried that for a week. I just, uh, figured maybe I had better luck in person. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm in the middle of an emergency. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Is, is everything OK? Or... Uh, an employee of mine asked for help with a problem. And now that I've diagnosed the solution, they don't want to accept it. Sounds like they need an intervention. Tried that. It's not going well. You know, I had a roommate <clears throat> in college. Great guy, but he, he started taking something. I, I'm not sure what it was, but he would come home all hours of the night and just, just tear the place apart. You know, I, I, I tried to tell him that, that he had a problem, but, but he never wanted to hear it. So I just kept cleaning up after him. Did he ever acknowledge what was wrong with him? See, that's the thing. No matter how bad you want to help somebody, all you can really do is hold up a mirror. <laughs>